President Trump has been sending out Christmas greetings from his Florida resort, some warm, some decidedly chilly. Chip Reed is traveling with the president. President and First Lady Melania Trump attended a Christmas Eve service at the same Episcopalian church in Palm Beach where they were married in 2005. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Today, though, he remained behind the walls of his Mar-a-Lago estate, delivering his Christmas video message by tweet. In the season of joy, we renew the bonds of love and goodwill. But there was not much love or goodwill in his tweets over the weekend when he used them to attack his perceived enemies, including FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, who had a major role in the investigation of Hillary Clinton's emails. The president believes McCabe was biased in Clinton's favor because McCabe's wife, a Democrat received a large contribution from a Clinton ally when she ran for office in Virginia in 2015. In a tweet Sunday, the president claimed McCabe's wife got the money from a Clinton puppet and accused McCabe of using, allegedly, his FBI official email account to promote her campaign. Mr. Trump provided no evidence to support that claim. Democrats say it's one more example of the president trying to divert attention from multiple investigations of his 2016 campaign. The president also used a tweet this weekend to take credit for bringing back the expression, Merry Christmas, writing, I am proud to have led the charge against the assault of our cherished and beautiful phrase. Merry Christmas, everybody. In we fact, though, all recent presidents used the phrase frequently. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. President Trump is scheduled to remain here in Florida until early January. The White House calls it a working vacation, but if the president's recent history here is any guide, there will also be a lot of golf. Vlad? Chip Reed, thank you very much.